Hi, my name's Isaac, and today I'm going to show you guys around this 2020 Ford Explorer ST. Are you a soccer mom in the market for an SUV so that you can speed down the highway at 90 miles per hour while everyone in front of you gets out of the way because they can't tell if you're an undercover cop or not? Well, have I got the vehicle for you, Carol? I had to come up with another generic soccer mom name. Karen was too much of a gimme. Before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to Sioka Ford in Quakertown, Pennsylvania for allowing me to do this review. Because of everything going on right now, they're operating a little bit differently, but they are currently offering contactless test drives and you can purchase vehicles directly through their website and pick them up at the dealer. I'll leave a link in the description below. Starting out up front on the Explorer, I guess I'll address the elephant in the room first that I'm wearing an Alpha Shark Picture sweatshirt. No, I don't have merchandise available yet. I kind of just did this as a test run. And you know, uh, just in case you're halfway through the video and you're like, oh shoot, what YouTube channel am I watching again? Alpha Shark Pictures. Actually starting out up front here on the Explorer, you're gonna get LED daytime running lights, LED headlights, and fog lights. I really like this move towards full LED lighting on the front of vehicles. I've always thought it looked a little bit goofy when you had that LED daytime running light, but then you had a halogen headlight. I just didn't think that mixed very well. Um, moving on here though, you do have the Explorer badge blacked out here with this nice blacked out grill. I think that really contrasts very nicely with this blue color. I don't review a lot of blue vehicles, but I picked this one on purpose because I think it really stands out. You're going to get your Ford logo here. Right below that, you'll get a safety camera. That's part of the 360 degree safety sense package on this uh, Explorer. We'll get to that a little bit later. You also have front parking sensors as well. So this Explorer is very safety conscious. Now moving underneath the hood here, this is where this Explorer ST really, really shines. It's powered by a three liter EcoBoost V6, which is twin turboed to make 400 horsepower and 415 foot pound of torque. Those are crazy numbers for what's usually considered a family SUV. I totally understand why most police departments use this as an interceptor vehicle. This thing's fast. Moving on to the profile of the Explorer, the design doesn't shy too far away from the previous generation of Explorer, though this one does look a lot cleaner, a lot more modern in its lines. Right here, you're gonna get a turn signal indicator with a black mirror cap. There's also a camera down here on the mirror that ties into the 360 degree camera system. That's really nice. It kind of get the, almost the floating roof design here with this black A pillar. Down here, you're gonna get 20 inch machine finished wheels. I really like the black and silver contrast. I think that works really nice on this, though you do also have an optional fully black wheel on the ST trim. I think that might be the way to go, though I still don't, I don't dislike this. This is just, it's not as cool as the fully black wheel, if we're being honest, come on everybody. Then you're gonna have plastic fender flares that extend all the way down here. It says Explorer in the plastic, and then they're gonna go all the way to the back here now, interestingly, in the back and in the front, you're gonna have parking sensors on the side. So if you're coming into a parking spot at an angle, the Explorer is gonna be able to beep at you and let you know, hey, you know, you're getting pretty close to something on the side. Most of the time, the parking sensors are usually just located on the back bumpers of vehicles. So it's very nice for Ford to include these on the side, but that also ties into a feature we're gonna get into a little bit later. Now moving to the back of the Explorer, I am very happy I am partially in the shade here because it's like 75 degrees out and I decided to wear a sweatshirt for a brand thing. Great job, Isaac. So starting out down here, the Explorer is going to have quad exhaust, which is really, really cool. You'll get your ST badge here. It's going to say Explorer across the back embossed in this black bar. You're going to have your backup camera, previously mentioned parking sensors. Now this one also does have a tow hitch. The max towing capacity on this Explorer is actually 5,600 pounds, which is better than some mid-sized pickup trucks. So that's really, really cool. Now moving on to the key fob, it does say ST on the back, which is nice as well. You're gonna have lock, unlock, panic, of course. You're also gonna have remote start in this guy. And if you double tap the button below that, it's gonna automatically open the lift gate now that's not a new or revolutionary feature, but not every SUV includes it. So it's really cool that Ford did you also have a button up that's going to automatically close it. Or if you'd like, you can just tap the it's going to close the lift gate for you. So that is pretty neato. So moving fully into the back of the Explorer here, there's actually buttons back here that are going to raise and lower automatically the back seats here. When all of these seats are completely flush, the Explorer has 87.7 cubic feet of cargo space, which is really big. You could fit 
a whole plywood sheets back here if you absolutely needed to. Also, I forgot to mention really quick, there is a lot of storage options back here. And there's this cute little Explorer with uh, the Explorer logo etched into the grab handle to open it up. Underneath here, you're gonna have some more storage. One really cool thing with Sioka is they include all weather floor mats available on their vehicle. Not every dealership does that, which is really neat. So moving to the inside of the Explorer, there is so many amazing things in here. I, man, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, let's start center stack all the way down. So this is gonna have an eight inch touch screen. There is an optional, I believe it's a 10 inch display, almost looks like an iPad, kind of the Tesla Ram truck design. In my opinion, this smaller one actually looks a little bit better. I feel like the higher one that looks like a vertical tablet, that doesn't flow as well for me. I know a lot of people really do like that one. I think this design is a little bit better. This is also something we're gonna see on the Ford Escape next week's review. The infotainment system on the Explorer hosts a wide variety of features, one of which I really wanted to highlight was the Ford Pass Connect, which is really cool. So you can download an app on your phone, and then what you can do is you can remote start and lock and unlock your vehicle from anywhere in the United States, which is a little silly to me, because why would you want to start it from halfway across the country? But maybe some people would, but that app is completely free just recently from Ford. So that is a really neat thing to have. It also has a Wi-Fi hotspot inside the Explorer, which is also really cool. A lot of vehicles are starting to adapt that, which is awesome for long road trips. You're also gonna have your navigation. And then if you hit the button a little bit below here, you're gonna see that there is a 360 degree camera view for the Explorer. You're also gonna get your backup camera and then you can switch if you just wanna do a front cam and then uh, the kind of a tri front cam uh, that is a little bit wider angle. So that's really neat. Now this Explorer, I don't believe comes equipped with it, but some of these STs and higher end ones come equipped with massaging seats, which is awesome. Those are really, really nice. Moving below that, you're gonna have your volume knobs. It's gonna have heated seats, cooled seats, and a heated steering wheel. Very nice leather, I really like it. You're gonna get ST and it's kind of uh, flattened off here at the bottom of the steering wheel. Below that, you're gonna get your drive mode selector, which is really unique. I like how everybody's doing different drive mode selectors. So this is a little bit similar to the Rams where you spin it to get the drive mode you like to be in. You're gonna have park, reverse, neutral, and drive just like you normally would. And then this one does also have paddle shifters if you wanna put the M. I'm gonna assume that goes to manual for your paddle shifters, which is nice if you wanna do that. You have a parking brake, which is electric. Then below that, you're gonna have your engine start stop feature your automatic parking assist, which we'll get to, hill descent control and traction control off, and then you have a big dial here to select your drive mode. So in this new all digital gauge cluster that's included on this, it's a 12 inch if I'm not mistaken, you can select your drive modes by spinning this and it's gonna give you cool different pictures. So you'll have normal, eco, you'll have sport mode, and you'll have tow haul mode. So they all pop up as these little different diagrams in the gauge cluster. That is really neat. Overall, this gauge cluster is really, really cool. There's so many customizable features about it. It gives you everything a traditional gauge cluster would, but with this all digital readout, which is really, really nice. You're gonna have buttons to control all of that stuff on the steering wheel, volume, your settings, Bluetooth, all of that laid out. And in addition, uh, settings for that auto parking assist. Again, we'll get to that in a little bit. This one also says the speed limit, which is really cool. So if you pass a speed limit sign, it'll automatically see that and it'll tell you in the gauge cluster what the speed limit is. Very, very clever. I really like that a lot of these cars are adapting that. Moving to the door panel, uh, it is a very nice leather texture on up here. You're gonna get a Bang and Olufsen sound system, which is really sweet. And I really like this door handle. It's kind of uh, futuristic and modern. Uh, I really like its design. You, it's like a latch design, which is cool. And then obviously we hear the classic, uh, I'm a Ford, I'm a Ford, I'm a Ford. Oh, I only did it three times. Okay, well, you know, the classic bing bong of the Ford, uh, you left your keys or you left the engine running uh, noise. I think that's gonna conclude most of the front up here. You do have a little bit of a storage area down here, USB, USB-C. Uh, it is a push button start. Up here though, you do have a fully, uh, I believe it's a dual panel panoramic sunroof, which is so cool. Um, it is really, really nice. Let's a lot of light into here. Wow, as I've mentioned in the past, I'm a sucker for sunroofs. The seats are also really nice leather. They do 
uh, have ST embossed into them as well. Overall, the interior quality of this feels really nice. There is some cheaper plastic right here on the center stack, but overall, pretty much everything you're gonna touch is very, very nice, comfortable leather. There's also a wireless phone charger right here, which is really neat, I miss that. So overall, very good job, Ford. All right, I'm here at Sioka. We are in an escape with Jeff and Chris, sales associates here, and they're gonna demo for us the auto park assist feature. Um, we're gonna do it on this escape. I know it's pretty much the same for the Explorers as well, so I figured we'd just do it once so we didn't have to jump between SUVs. So here we go. We are gonna uh, put it in drive and then we're gonna tap the park button and then you put your turn signal on for which side you wanna go on. And then what you do is you just drive forward and if you're in a big parking lot like this, what it basically allows you to do is it, it's gonna scan for a parking spot and then it's gonna let us know once it found it. Okay, so it found a parking spot and then what you do is you put it in neutral and then you, I guess you hold the park button down and you put, take your foot off the brake. And then it is automatically doing this. He does not have his feet on the gas or the brake and he does not have his hands on the wheel. And this is doing it all by itself. This is really neat. A little nerve wracking if you get close to another vehicle, but it does have those parking sensors we mentioned earlier uh, on the back and on the front to, to, to detect if we're getting close to any vehicle and it's doing this all automatically. This is really, really cool. And then it's gonna back us up. This is definitely very futuristic tech. Wow, that is just so cool. And then it just pulls it all in. And then once we finish, once it gets us kind of straightened out, oh, it's just gonna keep going. It wants to get closer. We're just gonna, we're along for the ride. We are all like <laughs> gripping. We're all gripping everything. We're like, uh, just in case. It's gonna bring it in here. And then once we are pulled in nicely, it tells us we're all finished. And that is the active park assist mode. There you go. And I'm gonna leave the uh, website link for these guys in the description if you're looking for a sales associate. So moving on to the second row of the Explorer, there is a lot of amenities back here that I think would make me personally want to be back here most of the time if this was on a long road trip. Uh, first off, you get your own sunshade back here, which is really cool. You get your own climate vent up here, light, coat hanger. One thing I forgot to mention previously is this has ambient lighting in the car. Right now it has a little tiny blue hue, though you can change that in the infotainment system. But the really cool thing back here is that it has heated seats and its own set of climate controls. Most of the time on SUVs, you're gonna have the climate controls up front and then vents down here, and then whatever the driver sets it, that's what you get. But back here, you can actually set the climate to come out of these vents for what you would want, which is neat. You're also gonna get USB and USB-C, as well as a household 12 volt outlet back here. This particular one has leather captain's chairs, which are very comfortable, though a bench seat is also an option. In between, you just get cup holders here uh, and a little storage area. Um, I put the floor mats back in the third row, uh, so I'm not gonna sit in the third row, but trust me, it's a little cramped back there if you're over like 5'10". I do want to mention this really quick. The third row does actually have its own set of climate vents and a light back here. So it's not completely barren if you do get stuck in the third row on a long road trip. So that concludes my review of the 2020 Ford Explorer ST. Man, this is a beast of an SUV that balances family and speed really well. Unfortunately, I cannot test drive it due to everything going on right now but trust that it is a very fast SUV and very capable. If you are in the market for an Explorer ST though, Sioka is allowing test drives to be scheduled online. You can arrive, they'll have the car completely clean. It'll be a no contact test drive. They'll get your ID and your license and everything separately beforehand so you can show up and test drive it if you'd like. Um, so there is that option available if you are looking for a vehicle at this current moment. You can visit Sioka's website. I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, I hope your vehicle lasts you a really long time and it serves you well. It is such a blessing to be able to do this channel. If you guys have any prayer requests, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. I try to look at every single comment. You guys are the best. Take care.